viongozi wetu wa kanisa maaskofu wachungaji pastors mlio hapa ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu wa hapa Kirinyaga na Kenya mzima wananchi wa Kirinyaga na wakristo wa Mjambo andoaito moriega bwana yesu asifiwe munisalimie hata na huko nyuma bwana yesu asifiwe hey kweli naona mmekuja kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni mshukuru mungu kwa kutupatia hii nafasi ya kufika hapa Kirinyaga siku ya siku ya leo katika mkutano huu wa muhimu sana mkutano wa shukrani na niwashukuru viongozi wote wa hapa hasa wanrio tuongoza katika ibada na wananchi wengi mliofika leo tuwe hapa tumshukuru Mungu kwa mambo mengi yametufanyia kama wa Kenya na kama watu wa Kirinyaga asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa tumekuja hapa kwa ibada ya shukurani na vile askofu wa Nderi ametuambia tuko na mambo chungu mzima ya kumshukuru Mungu tulikuja hapa kwenu tukiwa ni watu ambao walikuwa na matatizo mengi tukaomba kura yenu mkawa na imani mkatushikilia mkatupatia kura zenu leo tumefika hapa kuwa kumshukuru Mungu na kushukuru nyinyi watu wa Kirinyaga kwa kura zenu asanteni sana narudia tena kusema kwa niaba ya wote MCS waliopigiwa kura hapa wabunge seneta wetu governor wetu rigiji hapa na mimi sote tunawaambia asante sana na kwa sababu mmetimiza sehemu yenu na mmetupatia nafasi ya uongozi ile sehemu imebaki sasa ni sehemu yetu kuwatumikia kuwafanyia kazi kutekeleza mipango yote tulikubaliana na nyinyi ili tuweze kuinua maisha ya kila mmoja wetu na kuinua taifa letu la Kenya ikiwemo kaunti yetu ya Kirinyaga. Na mimi kwa niaba ya hawa viongozi wote waliochaguliwa, mimi nataka niwapatie hakikisho ya kwamba tutaungana, tutashirikiana, tutafanya kazi pamoja ili tuweze kuinua kila mmoja wenu na pia tuweze kuwa na taifa ambayo sote tutakuwa tunajivunia kwamba sisi ni wa Kenya mimi i want to give you my assurance that we will do that which is possible and that which is within our power to ensure that we keep our promise and we transform our nation and we positively influence the life of each and every one of you and each and every Kenyan tutashirikiana pamoja hivyo na ndio tumekuja hapa kumshukuru Mungu na asanteni sana kwa kuja kwa wingi ili tuhakikishe kwamba hii shukrani yetu sote tunaungana ili tuweze kwenda mbele kwa pamoja asanteni sana kwa kutuombea kwa kuombea taifa letu na vile tunavyojua hii uchaguzi ilikuwa ni uchaguzi wa muhimu sana kwa sababu watu wengi walikuwa wamepanga mambo ya sivyo kuna mambo mengi yalikuwa yamepangwa vile mmesikia watu wengi kule katikati kulikuwa na vitisho kulikuwa na njama lakini Mungu alisambaratisha njama zote na tukawa na uchaguzi wa amani 
na tukawa na uchaguzi huru na haki na tukaondoa siasa ya ukabila katika siasa ya taifa letu la Kenya. Na ndio sababu tuko na reason. We are here to thank God in a thanksgiving service because despite all the plans and schemes God not only gave us a peaceful election but in this election we demonstrated as the people of Kenya that we can vote on issues not tribes we can vote on an agenda not mere rhetoric kwa hivyo tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu siasa ya Kenya kwa uchaguzi huu imeinuka na leo watu wa mataifa mengi katika bara letu la Afrika na hata duniani kote wanasherehekea uchaguzi wa Kenya because we did it by the grace of God to be peaceful and to eliminate the cancer of tribalism that has plagued our country for long so mimi nawashukuru sana na tumefika hapa kwa sababu ya hiyo jambo moja ya shukrani. Tuko na kazi nyingi tumeelezwa na hawa viongozi. Na hiyo kazi yote ya barabara ile mnavyojua. Barabara zilikuwa makaribu mwaka moja na nusu iliyopita. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ile kitu mimi nilisema na huyu deputy wangu na serikali yetu tulisema hatuwezi kuendesha Kenya katika ile barabara ya madeni tena na tutahakikisha ya kwamba tunaweka uchumi yetu mahali ambapo hatutakuwa na madeni tutahakikisha kwamba maendeleo yetu iko katika msingi wa ile ushuru tunakusanya kama wa Kenya tuko na pesa ya kutosha tukikusanya ushuru kila mtu alipe kodi mahali inafaa alipe tutakuwa na pesa ya kutosha kuendesha taifa letu la Kenya na kuondoa madeni ambayo yanakumba taifa letu pale kulikuwa na uzembe ya watu ambao hawataki kukusanya ushuru tukawa na watu ambao walitumia mamlaka kuondoa ushuru kwa watu wengine kwa sababu huyu ni rafiki wa ule asilipe ushuru. Kwa sababu huyu ni mtoto wa ule asilipe ushuru. Kwa sababu huyu ni ndugu ya ule asilipe ushuru. Hiyo maneno tumesema Kenya haitakuwa animal farm. Kila mtu atalipa ushuru mdogo na mkubwa. Na ndiyo tumesema pale kwa kulipa ushuru mimi ndiyo nitakuwa number one, regarding number two, wengine wafuate mpaka kila mkenya kwa sababu haiwezekani kwamba mkenya wa kawaida analipa ushuru wale wadosi wanatafuta njia ya kukwepa kulipa ushuru kwa sababu wako na uwezo wa kisiasa ama wa kiserikali haitafanyika tena every citizen is going to pay their part of tax so that we can run our country on the basis of our own resources and we can eliminate the cancer of debt that is threatening to destabilize our economy tunaelewana jameni na ndio mimi nawashukuru sana na nataka nimshukuru yule aliyeombea uchumi wetu you spoke so well and you spoke for us so tutashirikiana namna hiyo na vile vile tumesema mambo yetu ni matatu kwanza ni lazima tusimamishe uchumi wetu our first assignment is to consolidate our economy to make sure that our economy is on sound footing. Na jambo la pili ni kuunganisha wa Kenya wote. Mimi nawashukuru. Mimi nimeenda na nimesema kwa taifa letu la Kenya ndio tuweze kuondoa kasumba ya kisirani ya ukabila na chuki. Tumesema serikali hii ambayo tumetengeneza kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tutashughulikia mahitaji ya kila Mkenya 
yule alitupigia kura hakutupigia kura bora ni mkenya analipa ushuru serikali hii tutafanya kazi bila mapendeleo ndio tuweze kuondoa siasa chafu ambayo imeharibu taifu letu kwa muda mrefu na ndio mimi nawauliza ndugu zangu sote tutembee pamoja ndio tusiwapatie nafasi wale walioteka nyara nchi yetu kwa miaka nyingi kwa kuuza migawanyiko kuuza ukabila kuuza uoga ndio waweze kuendesha mambo yao wa Kenya wa kwame katika mambo ya under development that paradigm we are changing and i want to ask every citizen of the republic of kenya i have said as president that we are going to unite this country we are going to consolidate our economy and every citizen is going to be treated equally irrespected irrespective of how they voted because they are taxpayers and we have one country called Kenya and we are a democratic nation those in the opposition are in the opposition because our democracy and our constitution provides for an opposition but we are going to make sure that we serve all Kenyans equally Mimi vile vile nataka mjue ya kwamba kuna watu hawajafurahi ya kwamba tulifanya uchaguzi ukawa ni wa amani na ukawa hauna ukabila. Ndio wamerudi kwa ile njama yao walikuwa wanaendesha kule. Walikuwa wanapanga njama ya kupuruga, kukoroga uchaguzi, kupanga sijui namna gani deep state, sijui system. Wakati Mungu alisambaratisha hiyo mpango walichanganyikiwa kwa sababu hawakupata nafasi ya kupanga fujo kwa sababu walikuwa wanafikiri deep state na system ingewapatia mambo yenye walikuwa wanatafuta sasa ndio wanajaribu kupanga hiyo maneno sisi tunawaambia ndugu zetu those who are not happy those who are against the peace the unity that we see in our nation that today they want to bring us old stories I want to promise Kenya that we will not allow our country to be a hostage to threats and blackmail by a few people who are looking for their personal interest. We are going to serve all Kenyans equally irrespective of how they voted because we want to move our country to the next level. Tunaelewana jameni. So musikwe na wasiwasi kabisa hii Kenya tutaiunganisha iwe kitu kimoja tutaweka uchumi mahali pazuri na hat, mimi siwezi kuruhusu ati watu wachache waende kona pale ati watupangie njama ya kututisha ati wanatupangia sijui maandamano ati sisi tuwache kushughulikia mahitaji ya wananchi wa Kenya ati sisi tukuje hapo ati tushughulikie mahitaji yao wamezoea hiyo tabia lakini we are telling them the end has come there is no more ile mulipata kwa vitisho sasa iwatoshe wacha sasa tufanyie kazi wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya hatuwezi kuwa tunashughulikia watu tano, sita, kumi, kila mwaka nenda miaka rudi ati kwa sababu wanataka kutupangia maandamano sijui wanataka kupanga sijui nini hapo pangeni maandamano vile mnataka lakini Kenya itasonga mbele. Tunaelewana jameni? Kenya will move forward. And I want to assure the citizens of our great country that this country will never again be a hostage to blackmail of a few people chasing personal selfish interests at the expense of millions of people in the Republic of Kenya. We will unite all our citizens irrespective of how they voted so that we can put to shame those who have the habit of using blackmail and threats to secure their personal family interests at the expense of the interests of the millions of Kenyans in our republic tumesema ya kwamba hii miradi yote mambo ya housing tutafanya Kenya mzima mambo ya program ya manufacturing agro processing tutafanya Kenya mzima kwa sababu 
tunataka vijana wa Kenya wote tuwapange na ajira walipe ushuru wasimamie familia zao wawe na manyumba ya sawa sawa na tupeleke Kenya mbele hatuwezi kuwa mahali moja ya maandamano mwaka nenda mwaka rudi kwa sababu ya mambo ya ubinafsi ya watu wawili watatu haiwezekani we told them they can never hold this country hostage again and we will not allow them tunakubaliana jameni kwani mtu anaweza kuteka nyara hii Kenya miaka hii yote unafanya maandamano hapa unapatiwa unafanya maandamano pale unapatiwa unafanya maandamano hapa unapatiwa wewe unapeleka kwa familia yako na watoto wako alafu unataka hati kunipangia maandamano endelea <laughs> lakini lakini siwezi ati kwenda kupanga mambo ya mtu mmoja na familia yake ati ampaka maandamano mimi nia yangu na viongozi wale wote ni kupanga mambo ya vijana wa Kenya mambo ya wakenya wote tuhakikisha kwamba kilimo inalipa pesa saa hizi tunapanga vile tutazalisha chakula ya kutosha wamepanga eh, maneno pale ati kutusukuma ati kutusukuma ati oh twende tuagize eh, chakula kutoka nje hiyo maneno lazima kuwe na balance kwa sababu wale watatusaidia kuwa na chakula Kenya sio wakulima wa dunia ile ni wakulima wetu hapa Kenya na ndio sababu mpango yetu ni kusaidia wakulima wetu wa Kenya na ndio mnasikia tuko na mbolea gunia milioni sita tayari tutafikisha mbolea kila sehemu ya Kenya ili tuzalisha chakula hapa nyumbani tuweze kuondoa njaa kama tutaagiza chakula ni hapo mbele lakini itakuwa ni kwa mpango sio kwa kusukumwa ni kwa mpango kwa sababu lazima tuhakikisha kwamba wakulima wa mchele hapa biashara yao isiharibike wakulima wa sehemu zingine biashara yao isiharibike because they are the surest solution for our food security uh, uh, intervention wao ndio watatufanyia hivyo vile vile wanaona hii watu ya makatel tulisema ya kwamba wale wako katika wakora na matapeli wako huko kwa kahawa wako kwa chai wako kwa maziwa sasa ati wao ndio wana finance hii mambo ya ma- maandamano ati kwa sababu tumesema tutafukuza makatel wapange maandamano kwa wanataka lakini kwa kahawa na chai na kwa maziwa watatoka yes ndio we are promising them they can finance whatever they want to finance but our farmers can no longer be the slaves of brokers and cartels who have taken hostage our markets and mr deputy president you have my very clear instructions on what you need to do unajua hii kazi ingefanywa na mawaziri lakini unajua hii makatel na hii watu mabroka ni watu wako na ujeuri mingi na ni watu wako na ukora mingi wanaweza kuzungusha mawaziri ndio nikamwambia wewe deputy president rungu yako ndio ile kubwa taandika hii watu <laughs> na wahame <laughs> wahame wakihama na waende wakiandanga kwa sababu <laughs> kwa sababu wametusungusha miaka nyingi but their day has come tunaelewana jameni so wanaweza kufanga ile wanapanga lakini watawachana na biashara ya wakulima watawachana na maziwa ya wakulima watawachana na kahawa ya wakulima na chai ili kila mkulima awe na pesa mfukoni na tutaanza mwaka huu hata ile ushuru tayari tuko na mpango hata ile ushuru inawekwa mambo ya chai tumesema katika budget inayofuata tutaondoa hiyo ushuru ndio tuanze safari ya value addition ya chai yetu haiwezekani miaka sitini baada ya sisi kuwa nchi huru only 5% ya chai yetu inafanywa value addition we have to take it all the way 
ndio mkulima aweze kupata pesa vijana wetu wapate ajira katika ile mambo ya agro processing na tuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha nafasi ya ajira na pia tunaongeza mapato kwa wakulima ndio tupeleke taifa letu mbele mimi nakubaliana na governor wenu tutajenga hapa industrial city hapa Sagana na tayari tumepata pesa ya hiyo kazi iko process kidogo watu wa kutoka Korea wamesema watatusaidia mbali na hii industrial city hapa tuko na industrial city ingine pale Naivasha tuko na industrial city ingine hapa Nairobi tutapanua industrial city Mombasa ili pale eh, Dongo Kundu tuhakikishe ya kwamba tuko na soko ya mazao yetu na mkulima anapata dhamana in the value addition and agro processing uh, value chain to ensure that we benefit from ile mazao tuko nayo hapa nyumbani kwa hivyo tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi mambo ya uh, cotton vile mama wetu alisema kule mwea tuko na hiyo mpango mambo ya irrigation mumesikia imesemekana hapa kwenu almost 73% ya kule mwea aina eh, maji ya kutosha na ndio tumesema tunaweka mpango ya dams na mkisikia nyinyi ambao ni representatives wa bunge mimi nataka niwaulize wa bunge bora mumesikia tunasema iko dam wewe usingoje next morning uko kwa ofisi ya waziri kwa sababu sasa sio ndio kazi ya representation eh sasa hii mambo yote mambo ya serikali yetu ambayo tumeunda pamoja na nyinyi nyinyi musingoje rigiji afike ama musingoje president afike mkisikia mpango ni hii ingia kwa wizara hii na ile and i am very happy that watu wa Kirinyaga nyinyi si watu wa ngojea nimesikia report watu wa Kirinyaga walikuwa kwa hiyo ofisi walikuwa kwa hiyo ofisi endeleeni namna hiyo hiyo ofisi yote wale watu wako kwa hiyo maofisi msiwapatie amani mpaka mupate haki yenu si ndio na ndio sababu tumewaweka pale ili waweze kuwahudumia tutakuwa tunapanga wao wana implement pamoja na nyinyi mkifuatilia so tutashirikiana pamoja na hivyo kwa viongozi wetu wa kanisa ile maombi nimesikia kupitia kwa eh, governor wetu wa hapa Kirinyaga Um, naona mumeshukuru kwanza kwamba eh, kwa ile appointment ya kuja kuniona kule sasa kwa sasa hata vile ya kupanga itakuwa ngumu kwa sababu sasa mmetanguliza shukurani <coughs> so nitapanga hiyo maneno mambo ya eh, yenu ya kufile returns mumesema ya kwamba mnataka hiyo ku filing returns ya kanisa ifanyike nyumba karibu hapa kwa kwa huduma center we are going to make it even better akutakuwa hata na haja ya kwenda kwa huduma center bora uko na simu na uko na internet utakuwa unafanya hapo nyumbani kwako kwa sababu sasa tumesema we are digitizing all government services sasa services yote ya serikali itakuwa kwa mtandao. We una file returns ukiwa kanisani hapo unafinya tu mambo inaisha alafu tunasonga mbele. We are also going to see how to make sure that matters marriage is also simplified. Ndio kusiwe na bureaucracy mingi na mambo mengi ambayo hayana maana. Kwa mambo ya tent eh, eh, nimshakubali ya kwamba nitawatafutia tend kubwa na viti <laughs> wewe <laughs> wewe governor utakujia hiyo maneno si ndio eh alafu muendelee na kuhubiri kabisa mambo ya Mungu ndio tumaliza hata hii pombe inamaliza watoto wetu jameni tafadhali tusukume kona hiyo na retreat center eh, governor akitoa ardhi vile rigiji amesema sisi wengine wote tutakuja kujenga mimi ndio nitakuwa mstari wa mbele. Ndio? Fanya namna hiyo. Kwa sababu hii maombi ndio imetufikisha hapa jameni. So mali yote inapangwa maombi sisi tutakuwa huko mstari wa mbele. So otherwise watu wa Kirinyaga mjue eh, tunawapenda sana. Wakati nilikuwa pale eh, 
kwa mambo ya dam nilisema ya kwamba tutawasaidia kufanya ile channeling na tayari 400 million shillings is available ndio tuweze kuongeza ile eh, mahali ya kuzalisha mchele na vile vile hizo dam zingine mbili ndio tunataka tuongezee ndio pia tuwe na irrigation program expanded itoke hata kwa mchele ingie kwa mimea ingine and that is what we are going to do so ndugu zangu watu wa Kirinyaga na washukuru sana na wapenda sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu endeleeni kutuombea na mkirudi nyumbani msalimie watoto wenu familia zenu na kila eh, moja wenu Mungu awabariki na awajalie asante sana God bless you thank you very much Thank you thank you very much your excellency may we be seated for a very brief session uh, whereby we have just two assignments your excellency um, we have the presentation